Yes, my dear friend, very good evening to you wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice from. This is Salon's blog. You are highly welcome. You can see the excitement in my voice and in my face because it is our match night, Chelsea, Manchester City. Yes, yes, I'm excited because I know that tonight it's going to be Chelsea's night. <laughs> you don't believe me, right? It, it will shock you. It will shock you to the bone, to the core. It will surprise you to the bone, to the core. I understand. Many of you, you don't know which of, which of the Chelsea that are going to turn up tonight. Yeah, it might be the Chelsea that will come out and fight and win like we won against Aston Villa. At, and or, and, and then our last game. Or it might be the Chelsea that will turn up very cold. So most of you don't want to really raise your hope high. Trust me, I need you to be confident. You have to. You see, the fact is, if you don't believe in yourself, who will believe in you? If you don't believe in yourself, who will believe in you? So we have to learn to believe in ourselves and believe in our players and believe in our club and believe in our team. Even though we know, we know that, some, that sometimes they seem to disappoint or fail us. But the truth is, if we don't believe in them, we cannot support them. We cannot follow the club wholeheartedly. I understand. Each time there is a game for Chelsea, we are not sure which side of Chelsea is going to turn up, which of the Chelsea is going to turn up for that day. But tonight, trust me, this evening, I believe the right Chelsea that we know is going to turn up against Manchester City. We were going to shock them. We will shock them to the core, to the bone, to their marrow. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Before I go to my predicted lineup, Quickly, Arsenal and Chelsea are keen on West Ham and Ghana attacking midfielder Mohamed Kudus. I brought this news came out a few days ago, but it seems it's gathering pace. The news is not gathering pace, spreading anyhow. And one of the articles that I read, they said 39 million pound Mohamed Kudus. How much did West Ham pay for him from? Ajax. So is West Ham going to reduce the price and sell him cheap because he's not performing for them well? Or even if they are to sell him, they are supposed to sell him and make profit out of him. This is why when the news came up first of all earlier this week, I doubted the news. Because there's no how. Mohamed Kudus now is an asset to West Ham. And so I said it in my last, I think four days ago, that if even anything at all if anything at all, West Ham is going to allow him to go by summer, they are going to double the figure. Kudus at this point in time will not sell less than 80 to 90 million pounds. Yeah. I said it. But it looks like it's still coming back into the news. For me personally, I doubt this news. I doubt it. But it still, it still kept coming up. And in the transfer market, anything can happen. In football, anything can happen. That is why I still have to talk about it. So, well... We wait to see it is Chelsea match night. And so any news that concerns Chelsea, I need to bring it up before the game. And I'll be bringing you the pre my predicted lineup in the next few minutes. All right? Okay. Chelsea head coach Mauricio Pochettino has lost more matches against Pep Guardiola. 13 than he has against any other manager in all competitions. <laughs> This is a record I know you don't want to hear before the game, right? Yeah, but I need to let you know. <laughs> Pochettino has lost more games against Pep than any other manager in his career. In all competitions. Pep Guardiola, you are always on Mauricio Pochettino. Tonight, Mauricio will win one against you. Mauricio Pochettino will win one against you in your home. Etihad. We are taking over Etihad. Yes. We are going to turn Manchester tonight into the Blues. All right? Chelsea have kept just one clean sheet in their last 19 Premier League meetings with Manchester City. With that coming via 2-0 home win in December 2018 under Mauricio Sarri. Under Mauricio Sarri. Since 2018, that was the last time Chelsea was able to defeat Last Premier League meeting with Manchester City, 
Yeah. That was the last time we had a clean sheet against them. Clean sheet, not a defeat. Clean sheet. Meaning, we might, maybe we won some games. Maybe 2-1, 3-1, 4-1. But talking about clean sheet, 2-0. This is about clean sheet. Not how many times we won. Because it can never be true that from 2018 to now, Chelsea has never won any game against Manchester City. No. We won a lot of games against them. By talking about clean sheet, are you getting it? Yeah. Since 2018. That is how it is right now. Okay. Before I go to my predicted lineup, quickly, quickly. Carlo Ancelotti was asked in a press conference regarding Kelly Mbappé. Would you like to finally work with Kelly Mbappé as your player? <laughs> Carlo Ancelotti replied, I would like to finish this season and win titles. We work for that. There is too much time left for this season. There is too much time left for this season. Carlo never wants to commit himself. Talking about the player... Kylian Mbappé as at now. He said there's too much work to do this season. He wants to win titles this season. The focus is on winning titles this season. Kylian Mbappé can only be a Real Madrid player from next season, from the summer. So he has no business talking about that. Dear friend, all right, coming to my predicted lineup for tonight's game. Chelsea, Manchester City. Chelsea, Manchester City. My predicted lineup. In goalpost, I will go for Petrovic. Yes, in goal post, I'll go for Petrovic. As you can see it on the screen. On the right side of defense, Malogusto, as usual, he's, he's been doing an extremely good job. And he will have to hold Doku to book. He will have to be on Doku. He can do the job. He can silence Doku tonight. Malogusto's work is to silence Doku from that side of the wings. Then, on the left side of defense, I will go for Ben Chiwell, as usual. I hope tonight he will not make any silly mistake. Because we can't afford any silly mistake, any little mistake. We are in trouble. Any mistake from that side of Ben Chiwell tonight, we are in big trouble. Then, at the center of the defense, Thiago Silva is injured. So, it's going to be Levi Cowell together with Disasi. Disasi will be the one to check on Haaland. The Sassy, you have to check on Ellen Haaland very, very well. The Sassy, yes. In midfield, I'll have my double pivot in Enzo Fernandez and Moise Casado. And both must be so tight. They must be so close. Otherwise, Kevin De Bruyne and Rodrigo, they will, be, they will, finish, they will, be able, they will finish up with, uh, how do you call it, Casado alone. So Enzo will have to be so close. They will have to be close together. And play their game. Their passes must be true. They shouldn't be loose balls in that center of the field. Otherwise, Kevin De Bruyne and Rodrigo, they will be right there. In a mistake, we are in trouble. Ahead of them will be Conor Gallagher. Playing the number 10 role. Yes. Then on my left wing, on the attack, my left wing, yes, I will still go with Nicholas Jackson. On the right, Palmer, and my striker for tonight will be Christopher Nkuku. Yeah. It will be Christopher Nkuku. Tonight, I want Christopher Nkuku to head the attack. We are coming in. We want goals. All we need tonight is every opportunity we have to score. Every chance we have to score. Dear friend, that is my predicted lineup for tonight. My scoreline prediction. <laughs> Ah, uh, dear friend, this is where the problem is. But I will go for Chelsea 2-1. I will go for Chelsea 2-1. Dear friend, I will leave it there. After the game, I will come for my post-match reaction. Remember, it's bet winner. Register with bet winner and win big. The link is right there in the description. Click on the link, register with them, and use my promo code and bet with bet winner. My promo code is TIM1979, T-I-M-1979, and win big. I'll see you just after the game for my post-match reaction. See you when you see me. Shalom and peace.